this is real now. This is, we're not going backwards anymore. There was a couple false springs there in a row. False spring. And we worked through it, but now it, this is real time here. Today, my plan was to come home from work and uh, start planting the celery, but I got distracted by a very beautiful puppy that came to visit, along with my sister and brother-in-law. So we're out here now, and we're, we're gonna start doing this tonight. Most likely gonna finish it tomorrow night. goes from cold and raining to beautiful, but what comes with the beautiful around here are black flies. to be able to talk to you guys about celery. I don't know about you guys, but I um, I don't buy celery at the grocery store. And I like celery, and we have two people in our family that love celery for, uh, for fresh eating, but it's too expensive. For... It's been so nice out the last few days. It was 20, I think it was 24 today. Tomorrow they're calling for 27. Now, when you think about it, two weeks ago we were getting into the into the minuses. I had to cover the garden. We have to start hardening off our our vegetables, our frost tender vegetables, and what that means is we get to plant our hardy vegetables out finally. So today, I've got celery. I've decided that I love growing celery. I grew it last year. It was very successful. Um, actually, the, the the variety that I grew last year is this one right here, Tall Utah. Um, I got these seeds from a local seed company in New Brunswick uh, called Rainbow Seeds. Two years ago, I bought the majority of my seeds from Rainbow Seeds just to try them out and their germination rates are awesome. Let's talk about lessons learned from last year. Growing uh, celery for the first time and being extremely successful. Um, if you wanted to see the harvest that we received from that, um, I'll post the video somewhere around here and I'll put it in the description as well. Um, I was very pleased with the celery last year and if you are someone that likes celery, celery is so easy to grow. Um, it, it requires a, like a little bit of maintenance because it does need a lot of water, um, but for the most part, it, it, it's, it's fairly maintenance free. Now on the back of the seed packs, it says that they should be about nine, uh, six to nine inches apart. So this year I will be probably putting them about six inches apart and I'll stagger the rows as I go down. They can grow very close together because they just grow straight up. You don't really want them to come out. So this encourages them to grow straight up like you would buy a tree store. Plus last year, I didn't know it, but we were supposed to be harvesting throughout the entire su summer because once you cut a celery plant it actually regrows um, similar to what if green onions in the windowsill they cut them off and they just keep letting them grow the, the celery uh, rejuvenates like that it's really neat so i'm going to be um, planting three varieties and these varieties are all um, at maturity dates of around 90 to 120 days you can harvest celery in our zone, which is 5A, up until about October because it's very hardy. It's, um, it doesn't mind the cold at all, which is something I learned from last year. So this is why we were able to harden off these plants this soon in the year. We are April, May, no, today we are, what's the date? May 15th. Our 
frost tender plants will only be coming out probably around June 3rd. This season I'm going to be harvesting for fresh eating and I'm also going to be harvesting for preserving. So throughout the entire season I'll be able to spread out my preservation time. This is this is just great. I'm excited. I'm super as you can tell I'm super excited to um to, to start planting out stuff in the garden that we can actually harvest from like we've been harvesting from the lettuce and the spinach um, for probably two months now oh sorry about the smoke and behind us that's uh, uh, that's a trick to try to keep the bugs away we just have a Tim Hortons tray uh, lit on like lit on fire and then you blow it out and then the carton the carton it's not it's not really working I'm not close enough to it So let's just get back to the kinds of celery that I have here. So we already talked about the tall Utah. The ones that I purchased this year new were from Vessi Seeds, another local seed company. They're actually out of Prince Edward Island, PEI. A lot of trust is in these seeds. I purchased from them Celery Tango. And I also purchased from them Celery Hudson. These are about two weeks, two weeks um, later than I should have been planting. I would say that probably we should start counting those 105 days from our six weeks mark when they would have been seedlings. Now they're a little bit bigger than seedlings should be. So um, yeah, so we're gonna be able to harvest these probably in, I'll put it on the screen because I, that's mathing. Mm usually mix celery with onions and carrots as a base. Most braises uh, start with a mirepoix, which is a combination of aromatic vegetables, generally an onion, a carrot, and a stalk of celery. And I'd like to just get these plants in the ground right now, but the bugs are driving me crazy. I'll see you tomorrow. Today is a new day. I went to work this morning. On my way home from work, I stopped at the garden center and picked up 12 25 liter bags of black earth just to add on top of the compost that we added last week. We're gonna then take a three inch drill and cut to make it a little bit more fluffy and easier to plant in. So I'm gonna go grab the worm castings and let's get started. This is a new bed to us. We built it this year and we filled it full of compost that we um, got from a farm down the street. And on the very, very top layer here, we have compost that we made from last year out of our compost bins over there. So the top is sort of kind of full of sticks because that's our homemade compost. So I'm just going along and I'm taking out the, the bigger sticks and the bigger chunks stuff that's gonna get in my way for planting. We have um, some sort of volunteer radish or something growing in here. I'm just gonna plant the celeries and I'm not really gonna to worry too much about the radish. Now, this is gonna be a bed that we have onions, celery, tomatoes, and peppers in the back. So we have to relocate, or we have to add a trellis I guess to this we have the t-post but we need to go get the trellis we use six by six welded wire mesh for trellises uh, we able to get a, a bunch of these for a very low cost so um, that's what we use and they actually work excellent and they're way cheaper than um, cattle panel would be and it's really uh, actually hard to get cattle panel around here so we use six by six
Now those are watering. I got some time to sit and talk to you about what happened there. So I watered these babies this morning. I knew it was going to be a hot day today, but I went to go plant them right there and they are so dry show you. that you can almost not even get them out. And when you go to fluff them up, the, the roots are just um, breaking. So we don't want that. So we want these nice and wet to be able to transplant them into the garden. So I'm going to sit here for a few minutes out of the heat, enjoy a couple drinks, and then we'll get back to it. Thanks for joining us. We're grateful for you. That's a little better. It's still not perfect, but I'm going over to a friend's house tonight to help them plan their garden. Sort of like my first ever garden consultation. I'd really like to start doing that. Uh, I love I love showing people. <sighs> oh, get off me how easy it is to garden and it, it comes in so many different different ways to garden too like you don't my garden is huge but my garden didn't start out like this my garden used to be three pots on the deck with three tomato plants in it that was my garden but over the years we've realized that the garden is very important to us I'm back out here again this morning, the third day, because I accidentally filmed a time lapse while I was explaining what I was doing here. So then I filmed it again last night after noticing, and I chopped off my head in the frame. So this is the third time trying to do this user error, I guess, but hopefully this time I'll get it right. So hence the new shirt. Um, it is the next morning. I got this this drill bit for Christmas, and I absolutely love it. It's a three inch drill. Um, I also got a one and a half inch for bulbs. I haven't used that one yet, but I used this one to plant the cabbages over there, and I absolutely loved it. It's very very quick. We just bought it on Amazon, or Bill just bought it on Amazon. But you just put it in to the level you want. Now, when I did the solo cups, I went down a bit further. And then I have these worm castings, worm poop. I find that since I've been using the worm castings, instead of just using a compost, that I'm getting better results 
um, from my plants in a quicker period, if that makes any sense. There's the worm castings. Growing celery is extremely simple um, if you have the right conditions. If you're a family that eats celery, I highly encourage you to go to your local garden center and purchase a six pack of seedlings and plant them anywhere around your property. They do not, do not mind the shade. They part, part sun, probably about four to six hours of sun is all celery requires. And you can plant them in your perennial bed. They're beautiful. They attract the swallowtail caterpillars to the plant and they'll lay their eggs on them. Last year I had four swallowtails. If you go to the garden center and you purchase a six pack of celery and plant that around your property, you will be able to harvest enough celery for the summer. If you have a, ma a massive family, no, but if you have one or two people like mine in the, in the household eat celery, that'll be fine. Now, I planted 30 plants. This will be plant number 30. I had no idea I was going to plant that many. I was expecting to plant maybe six of each, maybe 18 and give the rest away. But celery loves being close because it wants to grow up in a bunch like this. So big lessons learned from last year is you can harvest your celery throughout the entire season and it'll grow back on the same stock in the same spot. So it's pretty awesome. I hope that I've been able to encourage you to grow your own celery at home. I appreciate you being here with me and watching our channel and commenting uh, because we are going to be starting to harden off the plants from the grow room uh, starting on Tuesday and we'll be planting out two weeks after that. So I'll, there's going to be a lot of activity around here. I'm excited. I love being in the garden. So thanks so much for being with us. We are grateful for you. See you next video. Hey buddy, my cow.